Okay, fight fans from all over the Rio Grande Valley, 956. We are here at Diaz Boxing Gym with Coach Sal Poe. Coach, how are you feeling today, sir? Man, I feel great. I feel outstanding and I'm blessed. You know what I mean? Awesome, man. What got you involved in the sport of boxing? Uh, how did I get involved in the sport of boxing? Well, my uncles. I come from a boxing family. My uncle Orly, my uncle Fuel, and my uncle Marcos. They used to, uh, all my uncles practically, except my dad, used to box. And growing up in Mission, Texas, over there, it was a must and the family to be a boxer. And I was the smallest one I was had to uh, represent. Gotcha, man. You, uh, you had an amateur career? You want to talk about your amateur career? Yeah, my amateur career was very good, actually. Uh, I wanted to go to 100 fights. I went to 76 and 11. Wow. You know, that was my amateur career. I tried to go uh, pro, but it didn't work out. I uh, joined football when I was in La Jolla. I was playing for La Jolla Coyotes, and I messed up my, my right knee, and it didn't work out the way I thought it would. So that, that, be, you just, that made you decide to hang up the gloves and become a, a coach? Yeah, actually, uh, in that gym in Grand Prairie, Texas, uh, shout out to Grant Prairie. Shout out to Coach Eddie. Um, he's the one that put me as a coach, his assistant coach, uh, since I knew the sport of boxing. He, um, kept me around, ta taught me a lot of stuff. And uh, from there, I became a coach and was very serious about it. But then when I moved back to the Valley, I went a different path. Uh, besides boxing, I started chasing the music career. Mm -hmm. So I started doing, uh, I started rapping, uh, started getting involved with a lot of artists down here in the Valley. And uh, and it went good, you know, it went good. Put my name out there all over Texas, all over California, New York, and stuff like that. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Cool. You, um, I've seen you work with uh, Isaac, Ice Matamoros, yeah, in the boy, corners. Let me you, tell you a little story about sure, Isaac, sure. man. You know what I mean? I didn't know. It's a small world. You know what I mean? Isaac, the Iceman, he came to me, told me, hey, coach, would you help me on my stand-up game? Would you help me in my corner and stuff like that? And I said, yeah, man, why not? You know, come through. Uh, at the time, I was with Redemption Boxing. Uh, we went over there uh, to Las Vegas, um, Golden Boy. Um, uh, that's when I found out that Isaac was my cousin. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, he's my second cousin from my dad's side. So it, it's a blessing, you know what I mean? And it's good, and it's a learning process for, for my boy Isaac as well, you know what I mean? Got you, man. We've also seen you with the Vargas tribe, man. You want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, man. I know Fernando Vargas Jr. for a minute already, you know what I mean? I, it's crazy because I, look, I, I looked up to uh, Feroz, you know, the OG. Right. And he kind of, I think he's like 45, I'm 42 years old. And I grew up uh, like watching them. I'm like, man, who's that bad dude right there? Like, I want, I wanted to like, you know, kind of like implement something like, you know, Feroz and something like that. But uh, it's weird because I met Junior, you know, on the ma amateurs, and then I went to Vegas and I met him. Uh, finally, like we, you know, started talking, started chopping it up, and. And he's a cool dude, man, all around. All the Vargas family, you know, shout out to them. They're all cool, humble, everything. And uh, they taught me a lot, and uh, I respect them. Gotcha, man. When did, when did you first hear the call that they wanted, uh, the Fabian, Fabian, the Diaz family wanted to work with you? Again, it's funny because I went to Louisiana 2021 mm -hmm. on the Nationals. Uh, I was coaching Kayla Puneda, La Patrona. She was number one ranked uh, on the nation. And um, that was my first time being around national, uh, like national rankings and stuff, you know, with a lot of athletes, top athletes. And I heard about Fabian Diaz. When I saw him, I became a fan. His style, his style kind of implemented my style when I used to box, you know what I mean? He was. He was very, uh, his defense, his IQ, uh, I was like, wow, that's, you know, that's Fabian. I'm like, yeah. And then Kayla was telling me, yeah, that's Fabian Diaz. I was like, wow, that's, he's, he's a pretty good fighter. And uh, a lot of good fighters out there from the Valley, too, that, that year. I think it was uh, Fabian, Sebastian, um, Kayla. Juarez? Uh, Sebastian Juarez? Huh? Which Sebastian? Sebastian Juarez. Oh, Juarez, okay. Yeah, Sebastian Juarez. Gotcha, man. Yeah, a lot of a lot a lot of a lot of fighters from the valley were representing and uh 
I think they all won nationals that year. I, if I'm not mistaken, I might be wrong, but you know, but they all. I think there were more, but you know, it was a good, it was a good learning experience that year. Gotcha, man. I was talking to Mr. Rene Diaz, and I told him. I asked him, I go, the the improvement. What improvements do you see with Fabian? Because he seems like he's just getting better, not by the month, but by the day. What are your thoughts about him improving? Well, there's a reason I'm here. You know what I mean? There's a reason I'm here. There's a reason I'm here with the Diaz. And uh, like I say, I've been a fan of him uh, from the get-go. And now that I'm training him and I get a chance to be here with him every day, we always try to work on something new and how to improve it and how to you know get better of it you know what i mean so you know anybody that can say oh i'm already i'm a pro i already know everything that's false that you every day you learn you know and i've uh, i've learned from that and i learned from uh coach barry hunter in washington mm -hmm. uh, shout out to coach barry hunter um you know to this day i still talk to him on the phone and give me he gives me advice and and uh being around great coaches like rene diaz you know what I mean? He's a he's an absolute outstanding coach. You know what I mean? He he has his own system. I love it. I grew up in that system, but I have a different system. So when you have that system, my system put together, it's over like a relationship, baby. That's it. You know what I mean? You're only gonna get better. Gotcha, man. Fabian's fighting in May and in June, man. What do you expect from him in those two fight dates? A knockout. Both, both. Two, both of them. Okay. Yeah. All right. Nothing less. Nothing less. And uh, I'll class the other boxer, of course. You know what I mean? But as we go in, we're not just looking for the knockout. The knockout's going to come. You know what I mean? But it's just uh, we got to just do our job and stick with the game plan. Got you, Coach. Before we conclude here, uh, Coach Sal, anybody want to say hi to anybody shout, shout outs you want to give to anybody man i want to give a shout out to redemption redemption where i come from where i, I was over there redemption boxing for eight years uh, and i appreciate coach josh i appreciate everybody that was around me uh i build i was a part of building that that uh that gym over there and it was a blessing for me and uh i have no you know, no bad energy towards nobody. Um, shout out to Mr. Raul Rodriguez from Mission. Uh, also another good uh, good coach, um, a mentor, you know, to this day. You know what I mean? Um, everybody from the RGV, everybody that's boxing, everybody that's doing their thing. You know, remember boxing, if you really want this sport, you really got to go for it. It has to be, you got to wake up and you got to do it. You don't just talk about it and be in Instagram or Facebook and just say you practice hit the bag here and there. No, you got to live with it. You got to do it every day. You got to work hard. And it's it's something that's built with me. Like Barry Hunter used to say, the issue. What's the issue with you? You read it slowly. It's you. It's you. It's you. That issue has to be you. You got to take care of it. You got to accomplish it every day. And you got to go for it. And if you don't go for it, you don't take care of it. Ain't nobody going to give it to you. You know what I mean? If you really want it that bad. Gotcha, man. Mm -hmm. Like I tell all the coaches, RGV versus the world. Exactly. RGV versus everybody. You know what I mean? And, and I'm glad. I'm blessed. I'm, you know, I'm I'm with a, hands down, I want to say, I'm with the best team here in the Valley. RGV. We got a great team. We got great coaching staff. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's professional all over. In all areas, it's professional. So I, I love it. I'm home. You know, and I, and I'm with the best. I'm with the best fighter here in the valley, and soon to be the world. And mark my words, he's gonna be the world champion. Uh, if not next year, probably this year, the end of the year. But, but we're working hard, and and we ain't we ain't hiding from nobody. Got gotcha, you, right now. Got gotcha. you, mm -hmm. Coach Sal. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah. Hey, thank you for stopping by South Texas Boxing News. You already know what it is right here, Coach Sal Diaz Warriors. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Yes, sir.